let's suppose for a moment that there are these fictional flying craft in the sky from perhaps maybe Star Wars or Battlestar Galactica, maybe from the Galactic um, Empire, something like that. And they don't look like our airplanes in the sky. They don't, but there's something in the sky that looks really different. Some kind of advanced aircraft, just suppose. What would it look like? Now, before you say there's no such thing, because all of it's, it's make-believe, it's fictitious, nothing like that exists. Well, I have to, I have to question that, because this is what I took pictures of. And no, they don't look like our airplanes or anything. I, I'm not sure if they look like any, like, Battlestar Galactica or Star Wars or something. I'm not, but um, they look very, very, very interesting, and they are, they're in the sky. They're in the sky. Let's shrink it back down. There seems to be quite a number of them. Now, these are screenshots from one live photo. One live photo is what they are. Let me show you. You can see it. You to zoom up a little more. I mean, you can zoom up more if you'd like. You can, but look at this. It's true. They don't look like our airplanes. They don't. But nonetheless, I took pictures of them. Now, these were documented. They came in a little at a time until thousands and thousands and thousands of them started showing up. Like you can see right here. Thousands and thousands and thousands of them started showing up and you know you could put this in the inverted mode you could see them too but they started showing up and they they came across as interdimensional because the more light was shown on them the more they showed up the more they showed up so i documented them with my iphone in 2018 around the September time frame is when I really started documenting them. Uh, there was something wrong with the sun, and that was the time that the observatory shut down. FBI raided it. They said they found whatever it was on the computers. Remember that. Remember that. Okay. But this is what was happening. And we can see. We'll just look at these ever so briefly. We will. We'll just go like this and that. I mean, and you can you can look at them yourself. And they're notched. They're notched. Now, granted, we got we don't got the enormous detail on these ships because these are at a distance and they've got cloaking technology. You can make out their shapes. You can. And some of these have shown up on the NASA products. They have. Let me just look at it a little bit. And again, they're not like normal airplanes. They're not like... They don't look like this, but what if they do if the cloaking was gone? What if they look something like this when the cloaking is gone? Or something like these if we were able to see the fine details. On some we have. <laughs> what if there's something like this? I have seen one of these shapes. We have seen one of these shapes up here at the top at the observatory. It was black like that in Hawaii. They got little Legos and stuff. You can make them. Just look a little bit more. Well, a little bit more. This is the last one. And we're going to get back to the photos. Now, if we were to look at these, which we are right now, these are from my live photos. I have all the live photos of everything that I've taken pictures of. Multiple duplicate copies. Some live photos I never shared the pictures of. I didn't. Because um, I took so many. So, so many. If you invert these, they look really cool, too. They do. They look really cool. 
you can tell that there is something definitely there. And, and would you say, well, do the cubes play a role? Mm, no. Some say these are the chariots of the Most High. Some say they're from the Galactic Federation of Light. Um, I know that I have called them light ships. That's what I would refer to them as, light ships. Because they're not black ships. They didn't show up a different color other than the color that they are. And I didn't add any color to them. I didn't. I took my picture and that was the end of it. But you can see these in the clouds. You truly can. You can document these in the clouds. Would, will it look like this? No, it won't. It won't. But you can see them if you look close enough. We're going to look at a little bit more. You just go like this. and um, They are a technologically advanced looking type of a spacecraft. No doubt they have parts that move. They do. Like a robot or something. They do. You can tell by looking at them, these have mechanical parts. They can move or, I mean, they can be controlled electronically or something. But these things are going to move down there. You can tell that they would move. And they, um, let me see if we got some with the, okay, you see these up here. Now this is, it's like, um, it's like this one. Well, we know by looking at this that these wings can come down because they're mechanical. They're mechanical. So we can't say that. No, these parts don't move on the pictures that you took. No, I'm pretty sure they do because this could move too. Now, could we dismiss the existence of these and say, oh, they're just, um, they're nothing? Well, they had to be something. They had to be something. Otherwise, I would not have spent two and a half to three years documenting them day and night. I, I wouldn't have. They wouldn't have ever shown up. I, kn I didn't know what they were. I thought, wow, this side, these don't look like an airplane. They don't. And I've seen some of these on NASA's products. I have the very shape. They have the ability to stack together. They do. We'll look at some more. We will. Let's just zoom it up. Gina, why don't we have fine detail? Because I'm, I'm taking the picture with my iPhone 8. That's why. My iPhone 8, I'm not up there in the sky flying next to them. Have you ever, Gina? I have been up in a ship, I have, and I I looked at the great big windows of the ship. I did it for two weeks in a row in my astral travel or my dream state. I did. Oh, I saw them all right. I did. I thought, why am I having to look out these windows and take pictures of what's in front of me all night long in my dream state? Because when I woke up, I'd had dark circles under my eyes. I looked like I was awake all night. This happened for two whole weeks. Oh, it was exciting. It was really exciting. I greatly enjoyed it. I did. And um, now that I look closer, what looks like notches could actually be windows. And I we have been seeing windows in some of these um, that we've been documenting lately. You can look. You ever look up in the sky, which I know you have, and you see like a, a, a space in the sky that looks like there was a shape there. You ever see that? Well, this is what this reminds me of right now looking at it. Because there is a ship right there. And it has created a space in the dimension that it came out of. And we've seen things like this in the sky. We have. Thinking, how did that get there? These literally came out whew, from the other dimension. They occupied that space. And you can see some of the stuff still on them. Like the green. Like, you know the green with the... The magnetic field comes down, the nor uh, northern lights, you know, the northern lights, the green and the northern lights and stuff. Like this green right here in the northern lights. It's like um, they got in, they got in somehow, they came through. They came through. Somehow they got in. And um, they are, they got the green residual on them. The green, residual, yellow, green, and whatever you want to call it. But they, they did. Let's look at a little more. Just a little bit. Just a little. I don't know where the green came from when I would take my pictures. I couldn't see them with my physical eye. I really could not. All I could do is um, take my phone pointed up toward the sky at night with my clip-on lens and when I would press the camera 
a my flashlight came on and it went through and it was like an extended um I don't know, extended photo or something is what it was like. Whoopsie, get you back over there. See, they can they can stagger themselves. And I really don't think they need to have a lot of fuel to fly. I think they probably got some plasma that keeps them in the sky and stuff. And the notches very well could be windows, great big windows. Look at that. Look at look at them y'all poking through. It's like the color of the northern lights right here. The color of the northern lights. So Gina, do you really think that those are ships? Yeah, I do. And they don't belong to us. They don't. And there's thousands upon thousands of them. There's their sun right there. There's thousands upon thousands of them. Well, I love it. I love seeing them. I do. They're a part of me. It's like they're a part of other people, too. I know there's some who find it hard to believe that one could get images like that with a simple cell phone with one lens, an iPhone 8, an iPhone 6, an iPhone SE, and um, without having to use a telescope or something like that. Well, I did it. Can you explain how humanly possible that could happen? No, but if you look into the spiritual realm, I can see how it could happen. Thank you.